When analyzing raw data from an electromyogram, we're always going to use the peak-to-peak -peak analysis tool. If I highlight one clinch effort, notice that my peak-to-peak -peak is 2.82 millivolts. And if I extend that before and after the clinch effort into the tonus regions, it doesn't affect my peak-to-peak -peak because the maximum and the minimum value are contained within the clinch effort. Notice that the mean of channel one is just about zero, and that's because these values in the positive and negative direction are canceling each other out. And you can refer to another video I have in this playlist if you want uh, further explanation of why we have positive and negative values here. Regarding channel 40, it's very important that you only highlight the given clinch effort because this is taking an average in our mean analysis tool. We should have an average of roughly 0.27, but if I extend this into the tonus regions before and after the clinch effort, it dramatically drops my mean because we're putting zeros into our mean. And you would never want to take a peak-to-peak -peak of your integrated channel because that doesn't really tell you a whole lot. What that's going to tell you is what your highest rate of electrical activity is and your lowest rate of electrical activity. And that could be useful depending on your question, but what we want to know is, in the given clinch effort, what is our average rate from beginning to end of the clinch effort of electrical activity?